Hello there, in this lecture I am going to be discussing what makes poker the hardest to make a living at. You are going to hear this a lot of time and you are going to see it that poker is the hardest and uh, uh, let us go into a few reasons what makes poker so difficult to make consistent money out of. Okay, so basically the game started as a recreational pastime and uh, people would play and uh, pastime meet friends connect with others through the game and uh, that was so many decades ago and then some people learned the game very well and uh, they started winning a lot and seeing that uh, a lot of other players also cropped up in the game and at that time like several decades ago people did not know Texas No Limit Hold'em well they would uh, they would bet everything with say one pair or two pair kind of hand but these kind of things are not happening after so many books so much training material has come so now, like nearly everyone who is playing is uh, making okay decisions, if not too bad decisions. They are making average decisions. And uh, you have to be a social person. You have to be uh, warm, connecting with other players. Uh, this I have mentioned, like the edges are extremely thin. You have to connect with other people so that uh, uh, like some rich players mistake you in some big tournaments. Uh, or if your bankroll is too low then, uh, then maybe you can take loan from them. Uh, and uh, frankly speaking, if you keep playing poker for years it gets very boring. Initially, uh, it is interesting to a lot of players. Uh, they start winning big money initially and then they start losing and all these ups and downs. It's like a thrill ride. And they get actually hooked into the game and uh, then for several years they would be they would be actually donating money in the game uh, and there are a lot of other players also which play online and a lot of them have made big bucks but these are some players who have connected with other great players online and they are part of some staking house so uh, like they are not much concerned about the money they are putting a lot of volume and uh, if you see them in the day then most of the time they are multi tabling uh, about say six tables or twelve tables and uh, and they need to be concentrated all the time when they are playing uh, that kind of uh, games and in that schedule then for live players, the rake and tips take out a lot. So, uh, like if you are paying say 5%, what you actually contribute to the rake is 10% of your stack. And if you are in a lot of pots uh, in live poker, then uh, you are contributing a lot of rake to the game. So in live, you need to be extremely tight and most of the time you will be folding your hands and you would be you know waiting for some very bad players to come join the table then uh, basically you also develop the habit of gambling you would go to casinos and then many times the tables would be full or there would be waiting list in the poker room so you would sometimes sit at other games like roulette or blackjack or other casino games and slowly slowly it will become a habit 
and uh, people then start getting addicted to the ups and downs and then they start gambling and losing a lot of money getting tilted i have seen a lot of good players uh, lose unbelievable sums on blackjack and this is quite common in the poker world if you say if you see even great players like sam trickett they also have mentioned themselves that they ended up losing everything in other casino games like blackjack and a uh, lot of players like play bakara and uh, then when they have too much money they would start uh, placing all those big bets and they would get out of line out of control and uh, end up losing a lot very quickly then there are a lot of other great things to do people have founded uh, good businesses uh, and lot of other great things that add value to society then in poker you meet lot of you know lot of the misfits of society lot of the wrong type of people and they have acquired bad habits and that's how they have uh, landed up in the game so <clears throat> so you meet like these kind of people and then you slowly acquire their habits so uh i would not say that it, uh, like these people are doing wrong because i believe that uh, every path that a person has taken is for a reason and uh, like i totally respect people who are into it but but still i would say that uh, like if you see like some wrong activity going on then you pick up those kind of habits very soon like if you go to uh, you know if you go to a company and you see lot of other people who are working in a company then you see okay uh, then you would talk to them and you know they would say something about like what they are doing to succeed or some other uh, entrepreneurial work they are doing so then you your thoughts change and then you pick up those kind of things much more so i would quit quit here now thanks for listening